Hey everybody, I'm Randy Ridings and welcome to my new playlist, Quad Yak Coast to Coast. This playlist is going to be completely about my Coast to Coast amphibious attempt in the summer 2018. So you guys don't have to watch me uh, talk in my living room. I'll just post uh, pictures and videos of things I've done with Quad Yak over the top of this so you can uh, watch those while you listen to the plan. This intro video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the plan, the route, and that sort of thing. After this, the videos will be more in a vlog format. They'll just be, as I record them, you know, minimum editing just to get the word out because I don't have a lot of time to go back and edit things. It's just going to be, here's what's happening you know, right now, practically. Uh, I've already filmed stuff the last couple of weeks, which I haven't put on because I was waiting to do this video first but um, you should see those pile up pretty quickly after that and get caught up to what's going on in almost real time. If you're not familiar with Quad Yak yet, there's an entire playlist on it in my channel that is devoted to how we built it, the rides I've taken. So go familiarize yourself with that um, if you want, and then come back and, and track along with this trip. So let's take a second to get caught up to this moment. So the Quad Yak was built in 2013. I've taken it on some long 350 mile trips to determine whether it was viable as a cross country vehicle, and it is. And now I'm planning a cross country trip. I'm still about a month out. Um, it is April 2018, and I plan on leaving for the coast in May. So at this point, what I'm doing is I'm getting prepared for that trip. Going forward from here, what still needs to happen is I need to complete my preparations for the trip out to the coast. Then I'm going to drive slowly out to the coast on a scouting trip and scout at least half of my route. Since I'm right about the halfway point of my trip, I decided that driving this route in reverse on the way out and scouting it would probably be a pretty smart thing to do. So I'll take about 10 days to two weeks to drive out to the coast starting in late May, getting out to the coast early June, and I should be much more familiar with my route at that point. And then I will start the trip itself in early June. Logistically, how do I make this happen? Well, I'm going to do a self-supported trip. I consider doing a complete solo trip, but this is essentially a experimental vehicle, and a lot of things can go wrong, uh, and even minor maintenance isn't the same as minor maintenance on a, on a bike because there aren't shops along the way that are, that are designed to work on this thing. Um, so... I decided I would support myself in this trip by going out to the coast in an RV, pulling the quad yak on a trailer, and then once I get to the coast, I'll drop the quad yak off there and I'll drive the RV inland two to three hundred miles, park it, return to the quad yak, get in the quad yak, and then ride to the point that I left the RV and then essentially leapfrog the quad yak and the RV across the country. Just do a leg in the, in the quad yak, move the RV forward. Do a leg in the quad yak, move the RV forward. That allows me to have a base camp. Um, I looked around and tried to find somebody to come with me and just drive the RV, which would have been a much more elegant solution. Uh, they could have been setting up camps for me at night and, and I'd have carried 30 pounds less stuff uh, but that wasn't to be I couldn't find anybody that would take off for 90 days 100 days and do this trip so doing it on my own uh, but I still think it's smart to be able to carry along a lot of my foodstuffs and spare parts and specialty tools but not have to carry them in the quad yak with me so they'll stay in the RV and lighten my load considerably 
The route I'm planning to take is to start around Newport, Oregon, come in on Highway 20 to about Casper, Wyoming, and at that point get into the Platte River. I'll take the Platte River down to what's called the Great Bend in Nebraska. It's where the Platte River reaches its southernmost point and then angles back up to Omaha. But at that point, I'll drop down to the Arkansas River in Kansas and then take the Arkansas River all the way to the Mississippi River. I can take the Mississippi River down from there to about Vicksburg and cut overland to the Pascagoula River and take it down to the Gulf. Once I reach the Gulf, I'll cut across Alabama and Mississippi and the Panhandle of Florida. And when the coast of Florida starts to bend south, I'll cut across the width of Florida, ending at about St. Augustine. I plan on doing about 32 miles a day for 100 days. I plan on about 3,200 mile crossing. I can do much farther than that in a day, but I want to keep my average down low enough to be very achievable and give myself time to do recreational and educational uh, stops along the way, give interviews if, if that comes about, and that sort of thing. Obviously, uh, plans and routes can change. There are probably going to be times along the Platte River I'll get out and just ride on roads. It'll be faster. The Platte is quite a windy and somewhat slow, uh, shallow river, so I might be bypassing big sections of that on the road. If I deviate considerably from my plans, I will do updates on uh, Facebook and here to let people know. So that brings up the point, uh, how can you follow me? The two places to follow me are going to be here and on the Facebook page, which is just Facebook slash Quadiac. I've already been filming a lot of my preparation, food I've bought, work I've done on my RV, repair work we're doing to the Quadiac, and uh, that's what's going to come up next in this playlist, the preparation before I leave. So it's going to be uh, about a month of that, and then a couple of weeks of the scouting trip to the coast, and then starting in on the trip itself. A lot of you are probably going to find this once the trip has started, as I as people see me along the road. So if you find this and the trip is already, I'm already started across the country. Uh, go back to the beginning and watch the preparations if that's interesting to you. Some people are are quite interested in how you get ready for doing a trip that essentially no one else has ever done. Um, go look at the other Quadiac playlist that details the history of that craft up to this trip and uh, I hope I see some of you along the way that'd be great I hope I uh, some of you're listening to this now because you met me along the way and they're checking out my videos that would be great too remember to like share and subscribe and uh, leave me a comment wishing me luck I'm Randy Ridings and this is the Quadiac Coast to Coast